How much should a guy spend on his girlfriend's birthday? Honestly, the last guy was the one that like really like did something that like impressed me, and it was dinner with my family, twice. Dinner in Arizona with my parents, dinner out here with my siblings and his sister, and like that meant the world to me. And like in total, it probably was like three or four hundred bucks because he took me somewhere nice. But he didn't have to. I would have been happy with like, you know, Burger King or some shit. Mm -hmm. But it's really for me, it really is a thought that counts. I've had boyfriends who don't spend anything on me on my birthday. And I was like still going to love them and be with them no matter what. But yeah, I think it's for me, it's just really the effort and showing that you give a shit like that yeah. meant more to me than anything he could have bought me. So guys have to remember, it's a thought that counts. If they don't appreciate it, then kick them to the curb. That's not the one. How much should a guy spend on a wedding ring? I've heard the myth that it's supposed to be three months worth of salary. Absolutely not. Like you have to have be proven that you can afford three months worth of your rent or whatever it is, right? Three times the rent when you go to live somewhere. Like that's, that's ridiculous in itself. You shouldn't be requiring that of a dude. If you really love somebody, you should be happy with whatever ring they want to put on your finger because it's hard to find people who actually want to commit anymore anyway. Mm -hmm. And later on down the line, if he starts making buku bucks, okay, girlfriend, maybe at the five or 10 year mark, he upgrades that ring for you. But it really should be about the love you feel for that other person more than like whatever the fuck they got hanging in their wallet or how big the ring is on your finger. Do you have any unusual skills? I used to be able to touch my tongue to my nose. Let's see. Can you still do it? No, I've had my lips done and I had my nose done. So now it turns up and set it down. It's a whole lot easier when you got a hook nose. Fuck. Can you still attempt it? Come on, let's see. Mm. Oh, mm. she nailed it. Mm. She I'm nailed just... it. She still has got the skills. See, you doubted yourself. <laughs> I tend to do that a lot. Why do girls use filters on all their photos and videos? Uh, I periodically do it because I have acne scars. And men and women both have harassed me about it. And it's embarrassing. And there, quite frankly, isn't a whole lot I can do about it at this point. I've done a lot of... Uh, microneedling, laser treatments that are expensive and painful, and it's like, dude, I can't keep spending the money on that, but I don't want to get harassed about the texture of my skin anymore. That's one nice thing about being a dude. If you, beards cover those up. Yeah, <laughs> don't give a shit if you have fucking acne scars. Like, I used to think, like, uh, Dane, Dane Cook, I used to think he was really handsome, and he's got gnarly-ass acne scars. Fucking Seal, he's handsome as fuck, and that motherfucker's got pockmarks all over yeah. his goddamn face. Like, I don't give a shit, he's handsome. Some people just like to be haters. True. Does size matter? <laughs> yes. Yes, there's no hesitation. I'm sorry. Yes, it matters. And I don't just mean, like, if you're too small, like, we're not going to be satisfied. Bro, if you're too big, like, honey, I have compact parking. Boop, boop, back the fuck up with that shit. Mm -mm. It's not going to work, but thank you. There's got to be, like, a solid in between. Yes. I'm, I'm happy with, like, a decent amount of length and a decent amount of girth. And, like, somebody that's a little over average is perfect. It doesn't need to be, like, crazy-ass porno donkey dick. It also can't be, like, are we hitchhiking or are we fucking? What's going on here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, fucking